What's up YouTube? If you're like me, you're moving on from standard regular hard drives to SSDs. That's right. Performance is just too much. You cannot continue just to run operating system games on regular hard drives. It's time to move into the SSD platform. Now, with Samsung, they have particular software that you can use to help uh, migrate all of your files, your operating system, and everything over. Make it real simple. There are multiple, multiple ways that you can do this, whether you're on a laptop or a desktop. It even works with the M.2 SSDs. So if that's something that you're about to take on, here we go. I'm going to show you how it's done. All right, guys. So quick, I'm going to take you through basically how to connect it, depending on whether you're using a laptop, if you're trying to upgrade your hard drive in your laptop or desktop. Now, if you don't have an extra, extra slot in your laptop, um, you know, most laptops these days, especially gaming like laptops, they may come with a extra slot that you can just kind of slide an, an extra SSD or laptop hard drive in. In this case, my laptop does not have that, so I'm just going to be simply using this little adapter. Now, you can get these on Newegg. I think they're like 20 bucks. You can pretty, pretty much get them even at Best Buy or whatever, but it's just an easy way to connect your new SSD to your computer and you want to make sure that you use your USB 3.0. Now while I've got you here, I'll go ahead and show you pretty much all that comes with the SSD. In this particular case, the Samsung 850 Evo is just some type of uh, driver information. You've got warranty and installation guides, stuff like that. So this is pretty much how I recommend doing it if you're going to connect it to a laptop without an extra port you know, on the inside of the laptop or if you do not want to take your laptop apart. Uh, this just makes it real simple. Just make sure you're using USB 3.0 and now I'll show you how to connect it to the desktop. And the setup for the desktop, as you might expect, is just a touch different. All you have to do is connect it with some type of SATA power and data cable and just run that, you know, to your power supply, to your motherboard. Now in this case, I already have a Samsung 850 Evo but I'm just going to kind of demonstrate the software. That's the whole purpose of this. But I have a lot of questions. I had a lot of questions on, you know, how to connect it depending on what you're using. So with the desktop, you actually want to try and use it this way if you can with the with the actual SATA cable and power. Now you can still use the adapter for the desktop if you want to, but uh, I recommend just go ahead and connecting it straight into the computer. But uh, all right, let's move on into the software and I'll show you exactly how it works. All right guys, so once you get the new SSD initialized within Windows and it's being recognized in Windows Explorer, you can see here, brand new, ready to go. Then all you have to do is download the software from Samsung, Samsung's website. Now this is data migration version three. I'll go ahead and drop uh, a link in the description below just to make it easy for you guys. But basically all you have to do is install the software, get it started. The very next window is gonna show you your hard drive. So here's the original. Now it automatically detects the new one because this software only works with Samsung related SSDs or hard drives. So you don't have to go through and try and find the exact target disk that you're looking for. Now as, as we go through the process you're going to see some windows pop up so you just want to make sure that you read those carefully because it's basically going to say that it's going to delete and format and this and that. So we'll go ahead and get started with start. Now right here it says warning. When cloning starts, all data on the target disk will be deleted, blah, blah, blah. Now, if you have anything on there, of course, you'd want to make sure you back that up. But in this case, we're not worried about that since it's a brand new drive. So we're just going to go ahead and hit start. Now, depending on how, you know, what kind of system you have or whatever, this may take a little bit. Okay, so I just wanted to pull you all in real quick so you can kind of see how the process is going. We're removing roughly about, I don't know, it's kind of back and forth. Actually, it's increasing little by little you can see the transfer rate and then how long it's going to take now when this first started this was about 20 minutes and it just continues to decrease because the speed obviously is increasing all right guys so we are about to finish this as you can see here now it has only taken about six minutes and it still says that it has six minutes remaining that's probably because it's going to have to go through and check all of the files and all that but uh, once it gets through with the you know it completes the process I'll go ahead and bring you guys in again so that you can see the final but as you can see here we are about 94 percent and we are almost finished so hang in there and here's the finished product guys it actually didn't even take the full seven minutes that it said left that it said it was going to take but uh, basically all it did was verify the windows partition and uh, now it's finished uh, once you do the clone all you have to do is simply replace uh, you know your new samsung ssd in the place of your older hard drive and then uh, you know, re you know, boot your computer, turn your computer on, and everything should work as normal. All right, guys. So the cloning didn't take long, but I want to go ahead and explain the whole purpose of this. I did this just for demonstration purposes only. 
I by no means plan on replacing one 850 Evo with another. This was just simply trying to show you how easy it is to clone from your old hard drive to a Samsung 850 or any type of Samsung hard drive. My purpose, pretty much my plan, is uh, going to be take both of my 850 Evos, put them in RAID 0 in the new system here. So go ahead and stay tuned for that. That's coming up here pretty shortly, pretty soon. So if you like this video, go ahead. You know what to do. Hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe. More videos like this coming. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me, and we'll see you next time.